When we say veteran, what comes to mind? Valor? Courage? Service? How about sacrifice? Throughout our nation's long history, the members of our armed forces have dutifully served our country and sometimes paid the ultimate price to protect our country's values. And our community has long honored that faithful sacrifice. At monuments like the Omer J. Dames War Memorial in Dames Park, or services and ceremonies at the Veterans Memorial Walk. And at the tail end of last year, our city's ongoing support for veterans was rewarded with a special honor. The mission of the Jefferson Barracks POWMI Museum is to reverently honor all who served our country in any branch of the military, uh, who were captured by enemies of the United States or who went missing in action from any conflict and from any year. Uh, as part of this mission and in an effort to raise POWMI awareness across the nation, the museum established the POWMI city and POWMI county programs. In alignment with this mission statement, the fundamental requirement for a city to become a POWMI city is to actively participate in helping to raise POWMI awareness. Now therefore, by majority consent, the Jefferson Barracks POWMI Museum Board of Directors does hereby proclaim the city of O'Fallon as a POWMI city and encourages the citizens of the city of O'Fallon to continue showing their appreciation for the sacrifices made by our nation's POWs and MIAs, along with their families, in the defense of American liberties and values, and witness whereof this 24th day of October, 2019. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being here. This honor is the culmination of months of work by the O'Fallon Veterans Commission, which included phone interviews and an in-person presentation at Jefferson Barracks by Commission members Sheldon Hartsfield and John Roth. But during the process, our commissioners discovered that our hometown's reputation had preceded them. Uh, one of the most encouraging things uh, during the phone interview was that once I mentioned that we were with the city of O'Fallon, they immediately knew everything that we had done it wasn't like I really had to explain who we were. They knew who we were. So that made the matters um, easier. Because the city has the reputation that it does, you know, we're named one of the best cities for veterans in the country. A lot of the other accolades, our memorial has received national accolades. I guess in an afterthought, I wasn't surprised that we were as known as we were. So as we got deeper into the process, it became easier and easier. And we are city number 34. O'Fallon well, earned its POW MIA city status for ongoing efforts to honor and recognize those who served our country and those who remain missing in action. And as part of that mission, the O'Fallon Veterans Commission is proud to announce our National Vietnam War Veterans Day, which will be held on March 29th at the St. Charles County Veterans Museum. This ceremony will focus on education for the community with a traveling display of memorabilia courtesy of Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 458, along with all the other incredible exhibits available at the museum. And after that, our veterans have even more plans for O'Fallon. Outside of the normal programs that, that we normally do uh, this year, our next step for recognition for the city is the Purple Heart City. And we've already started the process on that and the commission is working on a service dog program where we can provide veterans in the community who are qualified to receive a service animal, not a support dog, a service animal, there's a difference, where they'll be able to get one fully trained free of charge. So we're working with some uh, local businesses here in the area to get the dogs trained and hopefully this year we'll be able to start that service. As part of our commitment to veterans, O'Fallon offers a number of resources. By heading to www.ofallon.mo.us slash veterans, you can get a quick overview of some of what we have to offer, including the services offered by our Veterans Assistance Office in City Hall. O'Fallon is proud of the service of our veterans, and earning recognition as a POW MIA city is just another way to prove that we will not forget the courage and sacrifice of our service members.